Don't forget to follow us on social media for beautiful food and inspiration. Everybody, welcome to Local Love. We do the show live every Tuesday from 9 to 11 p.m. Pacific and beyond into red light. As you notice, my peeps are in the fucking studio. Whoa. Off camera over there's Patty K too. We'll be on camera now is Patty K. <laughs> probably get probably get serenade and some shit talk from uh Sailor Patty. Yeah. Cap- Captain Patty, Captain Patty. Uh I'm producer Cap- Dave. You can find me damn near anywhere sitting directly to my right. Who are you, sir? 
I'm the motherfucking one Maserati in this bitch. What's up, y'all? And you can call me Steve on keys. I'm Patty. That's Patty K from the Ruffies. We'll uh, bring him on definitely this evening. Talk some shit and play some fuck guitar for us. I'm excited to have everybody here in the studio. It feels exactly the same, actually. It's a guy's feeling. It's a comfortable yeah. feeling. I, well, not exactly. I like the, the new layout you got here. It's actually kind of a Starship Command console type situation. I removed Very two nice. mics because I figured having five people on the show at one trip was never a good idea. And I, instead of having those two mics, now y'all have a display. See what the fuck's going on. I it's it's delightful. I I feel it's it's so professional. It's it's so it, you did such a good job, producer. Such Dave. a good job. Such a good job. Great, and we get to play a game. Pick a song that's on the screen. Uh, uh we're gonna do uh, "Melted State." She's got soul. All right, yeah. She got she got soul by Melted State. We'll be right back with more local love. Time you've wasted wondering where she's been. You'll never get it. No, you'll never get it back. So stop complaining about things you may have done. You should never look. You should never look back. I know you're just a man. Don't fret about your pride. I hope you understand how much she should mean to you. You have a pity love, my friend. Listen now, and I'll tell you again. She's got so. That was Melted State. She's got soul. 
Uh, Patty Kay's over in the corner wondering if the ruckus he was making was too much ruckus, but I like waited until he was done ruckusing to bring the volume back on. I know what I'm doing. There is additional melting from Patty Kay in his pants at this moment. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I fucking, I've heard that song and I've heard the stuff that I got from Noah of the Melted State album over and over again. And I'm just, it's every time I'm just like, holy shit, man. That's like a guy that I know that is just like one of the most talented singers I've ever fucking heard. Living that troubadour lifestyle and fucking making it through this weird pandemic time and killing it, man. So Juan, what have you been up to? What are you doing? Well, you know, uh, it was uh, last last weekend was really pretty awesome. Man. It was fucking awesome, actually, starting with uh, attending uh, Ryan's wedding that happened dropped on Thursday. That's Ryan Acosta, local, yes, local, local guitarist. Uh, and a one-time local love guest. Amazing guitarist, a good friend, and now married man. Um, he, uh, you know, that was just really about the wedding itself, it was from start to finish one of the most awesome weddings I've ever attended, and uh, it was just uh, you could feel like the love in the air, you know, amongst the people, and uh, it was a very touching moment at the, at the moment when they both said their vows and said "I do," and and um, that was the start of their lives. Having said that. The on Saturday, no Friday, I then did a gig with Los Improviders. We went up to to Santa Cruz okay. at this uh, art gallery called uh, Curated by the Sea, and um, and then on Saturday we did a gig over at John's Restaurant in Willow Glen, and uh, knocked it out, man. It was it was a good it was a good weekend. Fuck yeah, getting getting uh, that getting that live music pack going. How, Fuck yeah. How uh, how how long of a set were you playing? <clears throat> Um, we've been going, believe it or not, we've been hitting, uh, about three hours. Oh, like with a break or two here and there? Maybe like a 10 minute break, 10, 15 minute breaks, like one in between. Bad fucking ass. And it's, that it's, band, your band, that band could have made so much money on Twitch over the pandemic if they, if the fucking jam is three hours, they could, they could have made so much goddamn money on Twitch. Like there's a couple full bands on, on this platform that are just fucking killing it, making hundreds of dollars per stream. The Los Improvisers should be up on Twitch. Yeah, I mean, I will definitely pass that word. And no doubt um, is that definitely happening. People are figuring out that, you know, maybe um, you could say to a large extent that it was because of the conditions of what the brought, what the pandemic brought about on, on artists that people just started, had to re, re recreating, re readjusting and, and get and ultimately coming up with a viable solutions to get music career across the bow. Right on, right on. Well, Steve, what have you been up to musically? I know you got uh, I know you got a couple kids, so teaching them, teaching them to play teaching them to, teaching them to play piano at least. Yeah, well, uh, I mean, um I'm at the point where they know the do re mi's and can kind of modulate their voice, you know, play notes and stuff, but they're not quite at the point where I can play a note and they can tell me what they're hearing. That's that's what I'm working towards with them there. And then after that, We'll start uh, singing stuff, but uh, as far as music with other people, no, I haven't. Uh, I I meet people by going to shows, and I haven't been able to do that since all the shit turned around. So hopefully that'll change around soon. But um, in the meantime, I've I've had a uh, what do you call it at my work? I've had uh, weighted pianos, upright pianos that I've been able to sit down and play. I can go and lock the room and go play and keep my hands all loosey goosey. So like. I can play in my hand. I can go for a while, but it's mostly just show tunes and and you know s songs and hooks and just you know wood sh wood shedding shit. Fuck yeah! I started booking shows. I started booking shows already. I got bike party on <clears throat> fucking July third 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 Friday of uh, Dude, July bike where, party. Where have they have Ow! they since uh, that shopping since uh, the czar the the shopping center on Bascom went up near or got fucking flattened and, and turned into dirt. Um, do you know where that's picking up at? Like where that's oh the big the big bike party always starts at a different location actually. Oh, okay, that's it, true. So if you picked it up there once, you you went with me once and we picked it up at uh downtown San Jose where the where the little flags are or, or whatever. Oh yeah, at the Monopoly board or whatever, right? Uh, well we picked it up no Fountain Alley, but the other side, like not where yeah 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 yeah. 
So that that's good. And I'm playing Silicon Valley Pride, and I might be playing a couple events uh, SF Pride weekend. Those that's all still up in the air because people are doing last minute shit for that. There's no big parade, so well, see, uh, seeing yes. as uh, what uh, what's his name retired, um, are you gonna put together your own little uh, speaker cart so that you can you know put the true they, put they, the true spirit of the music right in their fucking chest? They got it covered. Okay, cool. They cool, got cool. they they uh, all those people have fucking music bikes and have all been working on their music I mean, bike you got, the you, got, you, you got those heads buddy with a big enough battery like you know you you can like tickle the neighbors for like a block and a half in every direction oh, well, yeah, those are those are those are not for me and they're, they're way heavier than anything i would ever use what's yeah. up real quick to making the denim i just realized that we can actually start a wednesday when i got with my homies uh up my Je- jesse right phil and my and myself we went down to uh, Phil's uh, warehouse and, and did a jam. Phil Tool? No, Phil Ziggs. Phil Ziggs, cool. cool. Feezy, Feezy, Feezy. Of, uh Relapse uh, like, and uh, yeah. uh, 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 Ray Frankly uh, fame. Yeah, every, everybody's named Phil around here. Like the whole San Jose scene is just a bunch of dudes yeah. named Phil. But there's only one Feezy. That's right. Only one Feezy. Feezy. Well, Juan, it's your turn. You see all the fucking songs on the screen, you gotta pick one of them. Because then we're gonna play it. Let's go uh, Street Champion. Oh, that's a that's the name of an album, but that's cool. It's called James Cash Street Champion. Oh, and uh, we'll be right back. The soul extortion king Doom like pricing, doom like pricing, doom like pricing. 
All right, everybody, we're back. That was called James Cash. That song was called Bison. And uh, we've been joined now by uh, Patty K. What's up, Patty K? Hello. How are you? I'm good. How are you? Fucking great, man. Good to see you. Did somebody help Patty K with that mic so oh. he doesn't have to? Baby. Oh, baby. Hold on. Oh. Baby. There we go. Look there we are. Let me stand up straight. Sit up straight. Look at much, much. Hello. <laughs> how we doing? Sit up straight, sailor. Right. Yes, sir. You know how we do it. Nip at the shine. Cheers to everyone watching at home and wherever you are. Who are you? I am Patty. I play in a band called the Ruffies and a band called Lawnmower now. Two bands. Oh my God. What's Lawnmower like? Lawnmower's fucking great, man. It's myself and sweet Kyle Lester, formerly of NBS and Ruffies fame, and uh, Mike from Joan and the Rivers. And what other band is he in? Homebirth. Have you ever seen that act? They're fucking fantastic. Mike Hickle. Um, Mike, sweet Mike Hickle. Um, but, and I'm playing drums, and they're playing, Mike's playing guitar, and Kyle's playing bass, and it's pretty much just the fucking high school dance punk band you've always wanted to hear. Um, I like it. straight up, I'm trying to sound exactly just like a drum machine. Just <laughs> no fills. When I was working at my buddies at Starving, when I told them, Starving Musician, um, when I was working there, and I was like, I'm gonna go play drums, and I'm nervous because it's been long. My boss was like, Don't play any fills. Just fucking cut all that nonsense out. Just keep the beat. Anyway, it's a great time. Rock steady. Soon there will be rock. Rock steady. Yeah. I, oh, you know what you should do? You should come listen to me play house music sometimes. So that you yeah. Can get, 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 your, get your four on the floor on. Dude, and I get, love get it. It's ideas. so much easier than trying to Wrong. fucking drum. Yeah, just. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I, was miss, I was putting the cart before the horse this whole time. So that's great. I didn't know about that. I'm really excited for your disco punk project. Uh, who's, who, who's singing? Uh, Mike and Kyle. Fucking fantastic! Yeah. Oh, I love not singing. <laughs> I mean, I I think you're quite a good singer. But Thank you. It's hard I, to drum, it's hard to sing and drum at the same time. I can't do that shit. I I see drummers do it. I saw like that the sofa thing this this last uh, Sunday. I saw a drummer who was also the singer, and I'm like, and he was a fucking hell of a good singer too. So I was like, it was like a jazz band. I was like, this is amazing. That's nuts. Our our drummer for the Ruffies right now, sweet sweet Andrew, is an excellent singer and play can can sing and drum at the same time i can't talk and drum at the same time so he's just got the sweet high pitch background vocals and the fucking punk rock chop and i'm just and you trying to sing as i got yes everything the drums are doing you're doing yeah very definitely understand once when i was like oh some fucking vocal coach was like don't you don't have to like through line dude you don't have to doesn't have to stop the fucking every note could be motherfucking uh, like come on like, baby like, like like a song like a song yes like a singer <laughs> yes you know yes. so what's, what's up with your other band the ruffies that's a big crowd favorite among, oh, among the communists in my chat i know you're all a bunch of fucking pinkos um we're doing good we're doing great we're uh we've been recording a record for nine thousand years and it is still happening we are what do we got? We got a date at District Recording in July to do, hopefully, the final touches. At least I'm recording maybe on the mixing and mastering. We'll see. We got a whole day booked, but we're fucking, it's 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 a slog. You know, we the last thing we had to do before the pandemic hit was background vocals and, like, the thing that we need to get everyone in a room for. Um, so rather than release the half-assed version... We are finally motherfucking finishing it. So I can't sing at all. Can I come be in the background yes. chorus? Yes, please. We need that. Okay, cool. We did the we did the pretty vocals Woo! already. The last time we did the hot, okay. we did, had the my friend Lindsay come in and sing and Sweet Andrew and Alex's vocals and everyone was just way too fucking pretty. Not way too. We need that part also. But the bro vocal or as in the brocal, the brocal. Or I, I like <laughs> yeah, when I was hanging out with Monkey. Uh, they called it the goon vocal, and I love the goon vocal. The goon vocal, yeah, it's <laughs> a fucking Cur good one. Curtis has been a regular on this show when it's been when it's been like remote. Yeah, yeah. I think he was talking about the goon vocal. The fucking goon vocal. Oh, the goon squad. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's fucking great news because I mean I have a bunch of Ruffy songs and I like a bunch of Ruffy songs, but I, there's one that I don't have that I'm fucking really excited for. Although I have a really good version of it on YouTube, um, a really good audio version of it. I would say the video of it wasn't wasn't so great. Oh, thanks. Um, but we also have a version of it that we recorded and found on Facebook Live that was from like 2017. <laughs> I remember. I went. Th I found that and like remastered it. Thanks, man. Yeah, I so, remember it all. There's fucking shit on the screen, man. You get to pick a song. Ooh, I gotta hear "The Man" by Doctor Striker. Oh shit, dude! I, love I that. think that's the name of the album. Oh, but I we? can play the Doctor Striker song. It's called "Deeper Stranger," and uh, we'll be right back. I'm looking at the wrong thing. So we'll never be a stranger again 
All right, everybody, welcome back to Local Love. That was Deeper Stranger by Dr. Stryker, uh, by, on demand by Patty Kay. Mm-hmm. It's the it's the randomized demand engine. That's pretty, I like it. It's, it's a lot. It's a lot of fun. <laughs> it's a lot of fun. So, um, fuck yeah, this is like super cool having all of you here. Oh, I know. I hate technology. I hate trying to figure out how the fucking mic works. So the last year has been just no. There's lag and everything sucks. You've you've I've been fired from one of your shows from not showing up with the fucking computer. You're not fired, but rescheduled. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I I don't do fuck that. I don't do that. I don't do any of the scheduling or booking for that shit. Uh, I'm just saying that I feel the the wonderful air energy in this room right now. It, it's like. You know, we're not gonna have like there. a seance or like a love in. <laughs> we're not. No, no. The fucking the, the cult. The cult of personality I've built around myself has no fucking tolerance for a love in. Auntie, <laughs> Auntie <laughs> oh Marie, God. if you're here, <laughs> if you're here, give us a sign. So <laughs> no, no musical now space. I take it. No, no fucking uh, American Dream. Your former fucking bandmates up in the chat. <laughs> yes, Ooh? American Dream. Fuck yeah. We're dreaming there for you. Look, everybody's in the same room and shit. Oh, you know. Ahoy. Yeah, you can see everybody's in the same room. The fucking red light is the same red light. Look at that. But um, having said that, um, you know. Uh, can y'all talk among yourselves while I make a beer? Or make a beer, get it, make a drink? Yes, of course we can. <laughs> We're so good at it. You know. Uh, when the I, cat's away, the mice will play. <laughs> <laughs> Ah. Oh, it's the fucking takeover. It is. You <laughs> it's a takeover of local love. It really is. Let's take our hats yeah. off. Look out. Look I'm out, everyone. Like, you know what? I just want to say um, to everyone out there, um, <laughs> I miss you guys so much. But, like, I feel like we're, this is just like the beginning of connect connectivity, reconnectivity amongst our brothers and sisters out there. And we want to. Basically, if we can have a virtual holding of hands, we would be saying, Like no. the phoenix before us, we shall rise! Yes! From the ashes! From the ashes, we, we shall return, and we have. Oh. And we are asking all of everyone together out oh, there baby. in virtual space that you praise the universe oh, for everything that no, is. No, 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 no. Yeah, yeah, yeah! <laughs> the plague is over. That's not true. Just keep it tight. We're keeping <laughs> yeah. it tight. We're keeping it tight. Right. But hot diggity daffodil. <laughs> when is this shit? When is this shit? When does this mandate end? Um, I'm hearing from uh, various uh, workplaces that it's January 15th. Ooh, January? Yeah. I mean, I'm sorry, June 15th. That makes way more sense. Yeah. yeah June, June, you were, Don't you scare were. <laughs> the people. <laughs> Why the worry? The it's fucking fine. punkers and rock and roll. We're aching to get back out there. Yeah. Aching like a sore back. <laughs> Um, throbbing with anticipation. <laughs> Boy, I tell you, I like you know, I, like I I feel it's 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 a uh, it feels it's a wonderful feeling knowing that. Um, oh, I did. I need are, like a fucking tunnel that I can in use this time <laughs> to come back together once again, my brothers and sisters. I definitely need a tunnel that goes like under the table so Mike that I can. Pence is the best <laughs> oh, Mike Pence does oh. not have the best. The peanut gallery is in full effect too. That's amazing. <laughs> so. <clears throat> What I was thinking is that we wouldn't be able to do this tonight without Patty Cake playing some music. And what I was also thinking is that I have very cool neighbors, so I'd like Patty Kay to play music earlier than later. Ooh. So what we're going to do is we're going to play a long song here. So we can get Patty Kay set up to play some fucking some acoustic punk rock or whatever for you. Yeah, man. Yeah, chocolate. Boo. The extended, extended mix by Kenny Thomas and the Southern Baptist. And we'll be right back with some live music up here in the studio.
that was Kenny Thomas in the Southern Baptist. That was Chocolate. And this is what you're about to have here is Patty Kay of the Ruffies live from Echoplex Studio. Thank you, Dave. At least your grandparents got to the mountain. They beat off the others with axes and sticks. Their grandparents got and moved from the ocean for it rose up and swallowed their houses and kids. But that was a long time ago. Now you might have to marry your cousin. There aren't any left of us. So count yourself lucky that she died with the others It's probably best Cause the child that they make you make Could be a monster The blow on the horn Throw him off of the cliff But the chances are smaller If it's only your cousin So count yourself lucky That your sister is dead Never been in Canada thought it would save him But there's nowhere to hide from the fart in the blanket Not proud of the legacy, glad that I made it Cause we reigned through the terror and the wrath Your knees came in, but the records were lost in the last generation So I think that I'm safe But that was a long time ago, now you might have to marry your cousin There aren't many left of us, could be your sister So count yourself lucky that she died the others probably best The child they make you make could be a monster They'll blow on the horn, throw him off of the cliff But the chances are smaller if it's only your cousin So you might as well count yourself lucky Your sister is dead How's everybody feeling tonight? That's what I thought An island when the water gets high enough. Imagine the final days clinging to life. Everywhere's an island when the water gets high enough. Imagine a way to turn it back into ice. All right. All right. That was fab. Right. That was fabulous. Ooh, Thanks. That was so yeah. Thank you. Let's do two. <gasps> Let's do two more. Two more? Two more? Two, two more. Woo! Two more. All right, here we go. I have the best neighbors, but it's been pandemic and it's been dead silent around here, so let's uh, let's ease them into it. I understand. In that case, I'll play the longest song. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> um, <laughs> the, the longest punk rock song. The, the four longest, and a half minutes. I'll play the shortest song I know. Okay. Um, Shibbity dee. Shibbity doo. Ring a ding do. Ooh, okay, have a little nip of the shine, Nettie's. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. right, okay. I expect everyone to sing along. It's very easy. Sing along from home. It goes making shitty people. They're making shitty people, making shitty people, but I don't want to fix it. They're making shitty people, making shitty people. This is my business. They're making shitty people, making shitty people. Is it my business? And that's not how it works. They make more if you don't do your job. You're a part of the throbbing mob. You're a racist embracer. I saw it the other day with the KKK, but that won't take your blame away. Won't change the ways that we might accidentally mistake you for them. Blame away. Won't change their ways. Might accidentally mistake you for them. Cause they're making shitty people. Making shitty people. But I don't wanna fix it. They're making shitty people. Making shitty people. Is it my business? They're making shitty people. Making shitty people. Don't wanna fix it. They're making shitty people. Making shitty people. Is it my business? That's not how it works. They make more if you don't do your job. You're a part of the throbbing mob. You're a rest crazy. Now oh, you're a fucking fashion ambassador. I saw it the other day. The, what the fuck has that lyric go? You're a racist embracer, I saw the other day at the skinhead show. The men six supremacists are not so white after all, there's only one way to cut off their heads. Boil their skulls till they see that we all have the same color bones. Cause they're making shitty people, making shitty people. Don't wanna fix it. They're making shitty people, making shitty people. But it has 
in my business. They're making shitty people. I'm making shitty people. Don't wanna fix it. They're making shitty people. I'm making shitty people. My ass in my business. You know, we all are shitty people. I'm talking about you and me and Steve and fucking Dave and Juan Maserati. Every single one of us is shitty. So don't judge people. Unless they're terrible racist motherfuckers. Then don't hang out with them anymore. Oh, cancel culture's coming for you, bitch. Ah, fuck. It's not called cancel culture. It's called you're an asshole and we're going to bully you into stop being an asshole. That's all right. But I'm willing to admit as a left wing fuck that we will bully you. You're not cool. You're fucking lame. You're a fucking loser. And you're not invited to the party and you're not going to get laid unless you stop with your shit. <laughs> Punk rock. That's what that song's about. Punk rock! It's about ostracizing your racist and sexist and homophobic friends. They're fucking losers. All right. No, don't be sorry. Preach. You're the lead singer. Preach on, brother. <coughs> oh, yeah, we're doing good. <laughs> oh, I'm good. If I smoke more weed, I won't be able to host this show. All right, one more. Give it's a quality weed one. Quality weed. <coughs> <coughs> one more. Hope you're doing great. Thank you so much. Love you all. You play in the refies, check us out on fucking Twitter. <laughs> You're not even on Twitter. We're not. I, tag I think you technically we are, but... I tag you on there and you never respond. We are not on Twitter. We never do that shit. Um, it's for journalists. Um, and presidents. If... Hmm, where am I? If... If the air never gets better, I'll just hold my breath forever. It's too bad you can't come over. If we don't kiss, then we can bone. The safety that you seek has gone away. The place you used to freak was fucking changed. The pace you used to keep has been delayed. Be cowardly, but fight another day. If the air never gets better, I'll just hold my breath forever. It's too bad you can't come over. If we don't kiss, then we can bone. Were you with anyone this week? I'm not just jealous, I'm afraid I'm more likely to get sick from STDs or from the plague. Sick of in the water's fine, come to the bar, have a drink. The way you pee the pool and your bathroom fucking sinks. If the air never gets better, I'll just hold my breath forever. Way too dangerous to come over, so I'll just jack up in my room all alone. But now my name is Karen, I'll put your whole family at risk Even though we're both the parents, I need dildos, I need chips And I finally used up the entire toilet paper tower Don't think that I've been drunk in like a whole 21 hours Plus my hair is super long, I need a new bong At least we can agree on taking showers But it's hard not to feel like we kind of deserve this Are we cursed, are we worthless? Should we sacrifice virgins? I just want my conscience back, just want a burger I just want a party and my grandmother's funeral This shit is a bummer, the worst ever summer Wish I had a lap dance, a job and a drummer Death for the infidels, you acted like assholes You printed out money when you should have raised taxes The world is over, it's fucking hilarious Wish I had a girlfriend, a dog and a therapist This shit is a bummer, we'll never be good enough We fucked it all up when we totally shouldn't have if the air never gets better, I'll just hold my breath forever. Way too dangerous to come over. If we don't kiss, then we can bone. Fuck yeah. Thanks. That was, that was lovely. Thank you very much. I've, I've, I, missed, I missed like live acoustic music Ow. in a spare room at my apartment. It's a good thing my neighbors have a fucking have mm -hmm. their own uh, bowling alley upstairs. Otherwise, I'd feel bad about about this. That does help. <laughs> anyway, we're gonna play a Periscope song. This song is called "So It Goes," and we'll be back with uh, some yeah, version of a fucking panel. This album by Periscope, by the way, is so good. Oh yeah, where you been? What's it? 
less is more. People start talking over each other. It's all bad. Welcome to Local What. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking, you just heard a song by Periscope. The song's called So It Goes. It's off Periscope's yeah. recent album. If somebody hits Bang Periscope in the chat, it'll give you a link to their fucking shit check them out they're fucking sick and before that you saw patty k of the roughies um, we haven't had anybody live in the studio to play for a while i hope it sounded okay check him out he's fucking sick <laughs> <laughs> better that than being self-deprecating i let that go i do both i'm 35 now my dick hangs down to the floor <laughs> <laughs> oh shit ow oh just kidding i'm 17 and ready for love. Oh, jeez. <laughs> Sorry. I'll tell you what, man. I'm just like here, just chilling in the studio. I'm looking, to be honest with you, PK, I'm just like really amazed at the transformation of this uh, this uh, center of, of energy, I feel. You know, it's like the, I'm here at this console, like literally in watching uh, Dave in, in, the, in the cockpit of this whole <laughs> sorry i'm um, sorry yeah, yeah me too <laughs> <laughs> Co- continue and that's he a different is room literally here. sir that's a doing different some amazing room. work sir, here. sir sir the cockpit is a different room <laughs> <laughs> he's doing really wonderful work uh, here and i i just want to say thanks dave thank you thank you sir. yeah now y'all have like computers over there that you could fucking change the screens <laughs> on and you should see the work he does in the cockpit <laughs> <laughs> Too easy. It's that's too easy. A, see. That's on a whole other website. I'm wearing like a gimp mask, though, so you don't even know. <laughs> <laughs> it's fucking me. So what? Oh no, no, no! That shit. I'm not doing OnlyFans. <laughs> I've got my own pipeline. Hey, oh, all right. It does. It never ends. <laughs> it never ends. It never ends here at the Echoplex. Crazy man. Dave, when when are you playing next? I heard you're bike partying. Bike party. Uh, I'm gonna go to bike party. It's two weeks from now, or two and a half weeks or whatever in June, but I'm playing the July one, because I always play the July one. Nice. One year, our fucking the asshole of a San Jose mayor was there with his wife, like, cutting a rug, and I was like, oh, the mayor's here. Oh, I hate the mayor. You know? <laughs> I appreciate your <laughs> attention to local <laughs> politics. Remember hearing some British dude saying, like, in, in like, we've decided all the, the big stuff, and we're just figuring out the little stuff. Like, it's not like, oh, whether or not people should have health care. It's like, how to figure it out whereas like and sometimes i feel like california is the same way where sometimes like the the what am i trying to say knowing who the mayor is is like inside fucking baseball here because really? it's so no sam Licardo is like gonna run for president everybody should know who the fuck sam Licardo is i know but it's all just so t- tedious i'm a fake activist i don't really I also care. I, I do the down ballot podcast with the councilman i like we cover we that's, do the, the, that's, that's the way that's why i know that's why i know about it it's the councilman's fault i understand love love the councilman all right my brother my brother hit me up and was like the fucking this local politician in san francisco is starting socialism in america and i was like brother what's going on and he was like dude i think i've red pilled myself he literally told me he was like have you heard of red pill i'm like yes i have because i think i'm going down bro brother if you listen to me i love you we're talking about you because i love you but fucking he was talking about just hitting the fucking just going down that shit where you suddenly are like these fucking these goddamn Democrats, these goddamn corrupt Democrats. And I'm like, <laughs> yes, they're all corrupt. There's a reason we're, a, we're punk rockers is because they're all a bunch of garbage. But of course, oh, yeah, I love that socialism, baby. I'd rather have that shit. I'd rather have a corrupt motherfucking guy who's going to give me health care than a corrupt motherfucking guy who says I don't deserve it. Like the, 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 like local or anywhere corruption's like kind of a red herring because like as soon as somebody's in power they're going to be like oh wait i could get my i could get my friend's swimming pool approved approved more exactly quickly. like it, it starts there it starts with somebody's swimming pool well that's the that's what almost like having to remind the conservative folk who i speak with that like <laughs> you're pushing an open door with me if you hate politicians i fucking hate politicians they're all a bunch of garbage that's why i'm not a liberal i'm a left-wing motherfucker like, I don't even say leftist because there's no such thing as a rightist. I don't know. For some reason, that word. Oh, I like the word leftist because then they ask, people ask what that means, and then you can tell them, there's which some, is a lot different it, than like a. There's like some other reason it hangs people. in the air in a way that I don't appreciate. I like left wing. I like that it hangs in the air in a way that some people don't appreciate. That's actually. fair. That makes sense. All right. Deal. <laughs> you got me. Points. Um. No, this is called the discourse. Other people like wish their channel had this kind of discourse. Ha <laughs> mm, Yes, the discourse. It's called. We call it the, the process. 
Um, but Lo- but Lo- local love, you occasionally get good discourse. But convincing the Wall Street elite and the douchebaggery red pilled homies and the people we love who happen to be a little bit conservative and watch the wrong thing about socialism and think that it's fucking authoritarianism oh baby um it is it becomes incumbent upon the movement to let those motherfuckers know that like yeah i don't like corruption either if you're a lying cheating dirtbag politician like i don't care if you're left wing fuck you and your fucking base i just i just like cover people who point their phones at the sky i know (laughs) <laughs> I, know, I know you do david like that's my favorite <laughs> content is someone pointing their phone at the sky like i know that that's not gonna that that's not like a really popular thing here on twitch but it's like it's like s tier content <laughs> ah, it's so good i know you guys are so good at that shit it's like s tier content whenever i tell people about echoplex i'm like dude they go to fucking washington to be at the chemtrails meeting to sit in the front row and yell shit at the guy running it like they're they're way more activist than i am it's pretty I'm, punk. Basically. I'm like, but the problem is with, uh, with what we do, and we're gonna do. We're gonna play a video by Ashes Fallen in a minute. This video is real good. We had Ashes Fallen. No, let's keep licking ago. each other's asses. But hold on, um, <laughs> those conferences. That conference, we didn't harass anybody. It was ridiculous. <laughs> that one of the dudes' whole speeches was, speech was about other people making fun of him on the internet. <laughs> those rumors are entirely unsubstantiated about us. We yeah. never harass people. <laughs> We didn't we, we didn't do anything at the conference though because we knew that it was better to just be there and observe but one of the people like half or like three quarters of his speech or whatever was just about people making like what to do about people making fun of you on the internet and it was it was amazing because we were sitting there and we're like we're people making fun of him on the internet he you, devoted his speech to us you must watch that your coverage of the the uh, world doesn't become coverage of coverage mm. well because like that's the thing about I do that too though I know you do <laughs> <laughs> I um I have to I stream like fuck this channel is live every day now so we gotta fill we gotta fill time oh I see never mind in that case I understand you got a book to sell baby <laughs> yeah dude, I, fuck yeah <laughs> <laughs> you can't trust these people not that I don't have records to sell the roughies dot com that's not even we don't even know that you just you just came on to here with like this there's this, this I mean fuck it there's people in here that would. You, there's a former bandmate in, of yours in here that would be like, I would fucking cut a bitch for producer Dave, but maybe not for Patty K. Oh, no, for sure, dude. You have way more clout than me. <laughs> That's why I like you, actually. Ah! You, got, you got Moxie. Ah, he's got Moxie. Yo, Moxie. so this video by Ash has Fallen, we had them on a couple weeks ago. This video by Ash has Fallen is so fucking good. Mm-hmm. Michelle Perry, uh, James Perry's fucking wife, learned how to use premiere only because she had to make this video it's like somebody's first video and uh this this is great this is uh the vampire this is ashes fallen vampire ballad of myla and we'll be right back Cinderella of the Barker 
Right. Yo, what's up? We're back. That was Vampire of the Ballad of Mila by James Perry. That shit was sick. But uh, that's that's James, Ashes Fallen. Yeah. James Perry. They're they're quite. Oh God. All right. <laughs> <laughs> you can't on, stop. On something else on the stream, but for, it's James on the screen. James James yeah, Perry. on the screen. Yeah, I, I didn't realize that oh, was. Fuck. Oh no, no, the so. stream doesn't see the screen, but my YouTube recommendations are nightmare. Film, <laughs> I, don't, I, don't, I, don't want <laughs> I know the feeling. It's a giant bright screen. Oh, it is quite mm. giant and bright. That was fantastic. The gothic video with the splicing of the old shit and the band playing. I liked it. Yeah, it was quite good. There, I give you guys a, like a, a screen that isn't bright. My website's in dark mode. Oh, no worries. Let it do. Let it be. Here it's for really you. Here for yeah, me. that video. That video was super good, especially because she like learned how to use the video editing program to make the video. Like yes. while she was like fucking super smart. Uh, check out the interview with that. Uh, Ash has fallen. Um, Juan did a good job co-hosting too, because their uh, their guitarist is a little bit shy, and Juan kept being like, "You come into the conversation. You come into the conversation." Juan did a good job. That was great. Juan is good at that. He's like a big teddy bear. He's like a skinny, sexy teddy bear. Of many words <laughs> and many conversations. Teddy Maserati, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> it's that would be Tezadorati. Tezadorati. I don't understand. Um, let's play another song. I'm in charge now. I'm sorry. <laughs> I mean, you can be in charge if you want. Um, this whole thing's actually easy to use. I know. It, it, I just got the sense that the people need another song. The people need another song? Do you, yo, here's a new song by Gundacker. We had Gundacker on last week. Dave Gundacker is a cool fucking dude. Cool mm. fucking dude. I like fucking D Gundacker. It's a great name. Fuck. That's his real name. Damn. <laughs> yeah, All right, Gundacker. I mean, it's probably a really good name unless it's like 1937 or something. And then maybe. You, <laughs> you know, <laughs> you know what I, mean? I, feel I, like, I, feel, I think I know what you mean, Pop. I feel like Decker is one of those trades that we just don't talk about anymore, you know? <laughs> <laughs> but no, this is, uh, this song is called Cleopatra and like, <laughs> the band is real talented, but like the girl, dude, the girl, she got the fucking pipes. I'm gone. This is Cleopatra by Gundacker. <laughs>
That was Cleopatra by Gundagger. <laughs> that Ooh. sounds fucking awesome. The, 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 oh girl, my God. The, the girl got piped. She like, got, oh, it's awesome. You're like, hired. Most people can't sing like that. I know I can't. I can't sing at all. Patty K, you're a pretty good singer, but I would never say that dude has pipes. That's, oh my that's God. a different one. No, for sure. I would never, no one would tell that, say that about me. <laughs> you know what I do want to hear, though, is that you, your vocal, like, replacing her vocal. <laughs> <laughs> cool, I'll do it. <laughs> this is ridiculous. Welcome, welcome back to Local Love, everybody. Hello. Have a drink. Oh, take two. Pour yourself a shot. Lady hey. D's and Lady Do's. So, yo, Steve on Keys, what's up? I don't know. I've just, I've, I've just been. I got this. I got this synthesizer, and I've just been playing it and trying to make it make as many noises as i can and i saw a picture of like a synthesizer on grass with a with an amp under it in your backyard with children in like the, the background yes the all all correct elements of that picture yes what was going on there was um, that, was that I, like a concert for your children that i wasn't invited to i believe every every day every day is a concert for my children uh, that you're not invited to. <laughs> no, but um, but but uh, what is it? the older of the two is starting to narrate herself in song when she's doing thing, which is like, okay, life's a musical. My work is done. She gets it. Well, I mean, she she gets she's doing something. We'll see what what she gets. <laughs> right, she needs to get a job. Is what she needs to do. Well, <laughs> it's not all fucking art and dancing. Let's just let's just say the, the the light the light's still there. We're gonna nurture that as long as we can. No, snuff it out. <laughs> <laughs> no, Destroy I had, it. No, I, I had that question for my wife. I'm like, you know, uh, how how old should they be when we gotta scare them about the world? Oh, they'll figure it out, <laughs> y'all. One of you pick a song. See 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 this see this you. list. One of you pick a song. You. Sorry. I should have asked consent uh, before ooh, I touched your head. Me, give me Misfit Cabaret. Fuck yeah. Cat Robo Show, Misfit Cabaret. We'll be back in a minute. Hey, Daniel. Has life got you feeling alone? Has your story turned a dismal shade of gray? That's okay. Come with me. I'll take you far away. I think it's time for you to open up your mind and join us. Come and play at Misfit Cabaret. Come to the party. Promise not to bite Unless that's what you're into And if you're not, that's fine You'll find a whole new world of things to be accepting of Like how Geordie's quite the strumpet Oh, but we're not here to judge Put on your disco dress You got admission thrift And follow as we fashion over age From grift to grift We're all from oppressive towns They call us lost, but here we found A place where we can be ourselves Whatever that may be And if you want to, we can do Whatever you want to Just as long as you can pay the rent Fuck We'll burn through the city No after party lodges Zing back home when all our money's spent Something about that right now. Aren't you having fun? Oh, it's so so shiny. Stay forever young. I'm invincible. Swallow back your tears. Cheers. I've never felt so free. Mine and Dalman, how are you? You know we hate to see you blue But Grace is here to make you woo She's quite the sparkly thing to do Then here's our Dolno Valley Our sister of the night So fluid in her movement Oh, you have to tip her twice And oh, my brother, have you seen this Merlin girl? She's the closest with 
with the most is No, this nibbling's not your pearl Baby, two-faced in red sway Being poised all the rage You can join us down here If you've got some gauche to spare And if it moves you, I'll take you Backstage where we undo If you like to be behind the veil <gasps> You may be surprised What you see with your eyes But what is life without stories To tell your mother Aren't you having fun? Oh, it's stimulating Drink that bottle down Kaleidoscope There's no sorrow here Dear I never felt so free Misfit Cabaret by Cat Rubber Show, and like we were Woo! talking about, welcome to Music Talk here on Local Love. No one cares. Uh, I I I like to talk, whatever. <laughs> I'd like to talk about how many BPMs that song was and what key it was in. I, I mean, that's like any time I hear any song, it's it's a curse. I know, or at the risk of sounding conceited, <laughs> that's 120 beats a minute, and, and it appears to be an A minor. We're a bunch of dorks. No, you're a dork too. Whoever's watching, hi, you're watching for a reason. You're also a music nerd. I hate to tell you, but you're here. Oh yeah, learn something. But that's part of the local look. Learn about the octaves, learn about the beats. I'm just kidding, don't learn a thing. Yeah, don't learn, at least don't learn anything here. And then you'll compete with me. I don't want you to fucking figure out how to sing. Tra train your ears, know what your voice sounds like. No, I will be the only singer. I want to be the only singer. No one else can sing or play there's, songs. There's two things that are about to happen. One, uh, Juan Maserati's about to take one of your places. Y'all can Rochambeau for it. I I'm don't out. care. I don't care. But also, we're going to play a Juan Maserati song. Oh! But we're not going to play an embarrassing one or anything. Just go funk yourself.
Oh, that was Juan Maserati. That was Go Funk Yourself. It is uh, delightful song. Juan is uh, outside. Uh, people are smoking cigarettes. Juan is not one of them. Uh, Juan is outside. So, uh, what's up, Steve Unkies? How you doing? Oh, I'm just having a delightful time sitting here, listening to music, wondering about going to shows again. Shows are coming soon. I have a show. Juan's been playing a couple shows. Um, Sweet Haya played a show at uh, Poor House Bistro a couple weeks ago. Um, I'm, I'm on, I'm on the, like, I did go to, with my family, I went to, um, Poor House Bistro on a jazz morning, which was a pretty sparse morning anyhow, but it was, um, uh, the organ player for the arena, the Sharks organist, uh, doing a jazz set, which was awesome. Like that was, that was fantastic. Uh, and then, uh, eating food and that kind of stuff. But going to like a packed in show, I I'm not like, I. I got minors, so like until they can get them vaccinated, I'd feel like a real dick if I brought the bug home to them, kind of thing, you know? Oh yeah, I'm. I like don't. I'm like barely even responsible for myself, so I'm like ready. Yeah, I'm like maybe not June, but end of July, early August. If somebody tried to book me for a ravey rave, yeah. Well, I mean, if I mean, if you if you got it for you, like fucking my have fun, my son, you know. I'll I'll join you when I can, you know. Well, you might not like a ravey rave anyway. Like I wouldn't be out of there till six in the morning, you know. Uh, I I don't mind, you know. Keep I've I've worked weirder shows, you know, making stuff loud and making sure all the shit's working. Oh, that's right. You'd like, oh, dude. But the problem at a ravey rave is like a lot of times, like the sound is all ad hoc. Oh, yeah, you'd like that. We show up early. <laughs> You're like, oh no, you do it this way. Here, let me help you. Position it here like this, otherwise you're going to have big-ass nodes out here in the middle of the floor. Yo. Hey. We need a venue. You know, our venue, Steve, if you and me had a venue, it would sound so like, good. It would sound perfect. That's like, that's where I want to, like, I, 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 moved, I moved out of the Bay Area because the shit's too much, and uh, the, the place I want to find, I don't know how to find it now in this post COVID world. Maybe things has opened up, but like a, a place where population's growing, you know, a place of, you know, five to 10,000 or something where I can go be part of a venue or a, 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 a theater or, you know, something in that zoot, area, that zoot kind of in thing. The chat, zoot in the chat has kind of a good point. I feel like maybe we're not there yet, but zoot in the chat is saying like during the pandemic, you felt like you had all the time in the world. And as we open up, maybe we're going to start feeling like uh, our time is being pressured. I, I think that's just the normal, you know, tick of the mortal coil kind of, you know, feeling just, you know, having a different perspective because of things opening up and all that possibility about there again, except for, you know, oh, you know, we probably won't get the bad shake the bug. No big deal. Um, I think I'm going to feel like I'm under more pressure with my time. I guess we open up. I think that's a, like a, a reasonable thing to like talk about because isn't that more like the conundrum of the Bay Area and that just there's so much stuff to do on any given night, you know? Mm. What's well, going to be actually different for me because I could be like doing this. Sure. And like making money instead of being out like spending all my money. Mm. Got to water your social self in different ways, right? Well, no, no, I understand. It's, it's, <laughs> everything's going to be fine. Like my, everything I do at like regular work is like picking up dramatically. And, uh, that thing I was talking about earlier where we're going to, it's, we, I might be able to get like a studio somewhere. It's also good for what I do for my day job. I feel like that whole market's going to crash over there in North San Jose. And I'm going to be able to get a spot and it's going to be cheap instead well, of expensive. Well, that sounds like a lot of fun. No. But it, it makes money and it's easy. <laughs> um, here, pick a song. Uh, oh man, like I have to pick like a slam shamirk. Oh, slams, slam shamirk. This song is by Val and Sorrow. We've been given permission explicitly to just call this song "Slams," and uh, we'll be right back with more local love. Uh, we're I'm I'm gonna pee and then I'm gonna try to like reconvene everyone that is involved with local love. Like 
go. So that song ends, and then you have 15 seconds to get your shit together, and it comes back. What's up? Welcome back to Local Love, everybody. Man, I love album songs because they just got weird things that just you remember. Valor Sorrow. Hold on, hold on. Mm. Riveting Radio on Echoplex Media, live. Juan, how many years ago do you think that, that, that sample is from? I'm going to go with at least five years. That would be my guess, too. That sounds about right. That was definitely made within the first uh, year of this iterative experience that is Echoplex Media. It was like a golden age for creativity, and it was right at the beginning, and then I stomped all of that out. Oh, you got better. Congratulations, <laughs> producer Dave. I got better? You got better. <clears throat> Not only did you get better, but the technology itself was... We saw vast upgrades to the system. Vast upgrades. We've been largely at feature freeze. I added like a, a $60 display, though. <laughs> well, it's an awful nice, it makes an awful nice list and has some wonderful beats looking. Wow. Well, the point of the display is if we were doing video like in an hour uh, and y'all would see the video. That would be a lot of fun. That would be delightful. And uh, it just happens to, I mean, it coincides with the rise of streaming going down and and the rise of of of, uh, of podcasting and all that. So it's 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 a really unique uh, time we're in right now, wouldn't you say, Dave? Or what's, what, I mean, for me, yes. <laughs> I don't know what you're asking otherwise. I'm just it. saying, like, Sam, every, I'm but, just saying that it's amazing that we can that. Despite all the bullshit that we experience, that we're still able to connect with each other in this way and, and, and connect, you know what I'm saying, man? I mean, I don't know. I make it really difficult by always being in Facebook jail and demanding that people DM me on <laughs> Discord. I don't know what you're talking about. Steve, Steve kicks it old school and texts me. I mean, <laughs> yeah. No, that's a, if you have somebody's <laughs> phone number, if you send them a text message, they're going to, in fact, notice it. Well, they're going to be like everybody else. Wait, a text message? They're like, oh shit, somebody's not trying to get me to vote for them. Oh shit, it's Steve. Okay, I guess cool. when it comes to communication, a multi pronged strategy can yield different results. I mean, you know, and yeah, I think I've been pretty consistent. I only use a particular channel, Dave. You text me. That's fine. Yo, yeah. if, if, yo, I'm all talking to the people that are watching this. If you have my phone number, just text me if you really need to get a hold of me. But if you like text me to tell me that you had a bad day, I'm gonna be really pissed off. <laughs> no, 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 no. That's 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 not why I, that's that's not why I have your phone number, producer Dave. Yeah, you're like well no especially you, Steve, you live out of town, right? I do. So if you're like, I don't even know where I'm gonna crash tonight, you text Dave, you're like, Hey, I don't know where I'm gonna crash tonight. I'm like, now you do. Yeah, the problem is I usually come with minors, and this is... Oh, uh, no, 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 we don't do that this here. This is not that kind of space. No, it's this is not, like, like <laughs> this is not a place for children. You Your children make, would be safe here, you, but this is not you, a place you, for children. You can, you can make children here, but that's about it. Right, the, your children would be safe here, but this is not a place for children. Oh, your children would be safe, but it, would, it wouldn't, might not be safe, but it wouldn't be anybody else's fault, because they would just, like find something on the floor and eat it yeah well the fault would be mine for bringing them here in the first place anyway uh one <laughs> chat thinks you're gonna do a philosophy can you do one philosophy for me in the space of two minutes philosophy as what as i don't know the chat's just like Juan's gonna do philosophy i'm just reading the chat and giving the people what they want i need some background music though to do this <laughs> do you want wait yes. what kind of what, how what kind of background do you want like something's a uh, galaxy brain i will do my best to do a galaxy brain impression what what what, what topic what what is our topic you, you, choose, you choose the topic chat chooses the topic you can, see, can you will, see the chat uh, right now or it. do i have i to... have i have a chat here i'm waiting for uh, for sweet 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 suggestion as soon as we get a suggestion, I will start the 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 galaxy brain music. Quantum mechanics, Juan. Oh shit. Quantum. Quantum this. Quantum now. 
the time of the quantum age has begun, and thus, all hell to the hell 9000, our predecessor, our image, our god, again, quantum, quantum love, quantum computing, quantum power, quantum nano, it is all here for you today in the now space fucking the now space the now space it is dependent on quantum power quantum computing the quantum space between your brain <laughs> <laughs> the quantum space of which we know as far back as 5,000 years ago it was unlimited power amongst human beings. But then, after the fall of Atlantis, we then found a way. We lost a way. We lost our quantum power. But now, in the year 2021, we are now united in unifying the power of quantum power bestowed upon humanity. Praise God. Hell. Hell quantum. May God's quantum power have mercy on all of you. Nano to nano, dust to dust. May quantum power be a rush. <laughs> Instant power. Flowing through your veins. Quality. There you go. Well, no, the chat will come up with something else for you to talk okay. about. That was pretty good. I'll give that like five out of seven. You know about five out of seven? <laughs> five out of seven. Nice. You know about five out of seven? Hold on, Juan. The chat's going to give you another thing. Hold on. That, that, okay, here we go. Is that, is that seven important uh, planets in the galaxy, the one, two dead one. ones being Krypton and Xanchi? No. No. Oh. It's five out of seven. Juan, why do you like analog synthesizers? Well, because um, the sine wave and the triangle and the saw are, are like family, you know? It's like when you sit in, in, in your studio at home and... You just suddenly have this itch, this desire to see what the LFO can do to modulate my heart and my soul. I think that when I touch my three osculators, they all give me unison power, a unison flavor. It feels like I've touched the hand of Vangelis. Amazing man, amazing God. From analog to analog. All power and mercy to the oscillator. Is that what you want, Dave? No, that was what Chad asked. <laughs> can y'all can y'all ask another question? This is a pretty good one. One, you're just I'm I'm, I'm pretty impressed with this so far. I get one. Yes, sir. Does the chat want to ask another question? Ask another question, please, chat. Oh, what do you think of shower shoes? What, what, what do I think of sh shower shoes? What do I think about shower shoes? Well, if you in, you get locked up, you'll find out real quick. Put them shower shoes on, because you get that infection. And, and that infection is hard to come by. Shower shoes. Also, if you in the gym... Make sure you put on that foot spray and some shower shoes. You don't want that, none of that. That third degree athlete's feet. All right, we'll take one more question because we have like a bunch of this song left. We're just taking one more question, but I also feel like we should ask Patty K to do like questions from the audience. Yes. But one more question from the audience. 
Hey, come take this chair, Patty Kay. Take it, hold man. On, hold on, don't. I mean, you could take a phone call on the show Dude, now. Chase, is, Chase just called me right now and told me to get on the fucking mic. He was Woo! like, yo, your homie Maserati's killing it right now. You gotta fucking hop on. All right, Chase, I'll talk to you soon, baby. I love you. Is Chase in the chat? Yeah, he's he's listening on the way. He's on his home. For, he's on his way home from LA right now, he so he can't listen, chat. He's, he's listening driving on the radio, but he's listening, baby. You know how we do it. God, you guys tighten this shit down. I like it. Oh, no baby. Hey, man, as soon as I set those up, mm. I take no responsibility for them. I'm pr- I'm so proud of you. So for check your this out. Mic <laughs> Hold on. Juan, hey chat, do you have another question for Juan Maserati? Because you're not going to get to ask Patty Qu- K a question until you have a question for Juan. Maserati. Uh, uh, What's the best brand of 40 ounce one? Ooh. That's, the, that's a good question. That dude Zoot coming in hot with a good question. I'm so torn. I, I, I think I think of Modelo. Then I also think of... Modelo makes some 40? Modelo. They make a 40? I think they do. My God. At least a 25 ounce. Oh, 25. That's not quite a 40. But if there was a 40 ounce Modelo, I would go for it. I was always partial to the Mickeys. No one asked me, but I didn't know. You know. Modelo, Modelo, the chat, like his log is chimed in. Modelo makes a 32. Uh, All right. Keeping it real. It's like you have to have that in like four shot glasses. Also, of Medella would have 40. As a part of the problem, as a white person, I like Mickey's. <laughs> what? Bullshit. <laughs> Just. All right, kidding. so, y'all, do you have a question for Patty K? Me? Stop. I don't believe you. Here we go. I put the thing back. It's a magic um, trick of whiskey. Um, Except there's no whiskey in that bottle. Fuck, oh, there's um, no whiskey or beer? What have I done? <laughs> I forgot to bring a drink back with me. Son of a bitch. I can get you a drink in a minute. We're going to get a question from me from Chad. Okay. I can't wait. Question is, do you have crown? Crown? Yeah, but you know we do, but... You don't, though. Technically, I do. There was a little bit left in there. You know how we do it. We did have the crown. Oh, ah. no. The Canadians make what do you, wh- good Here we whiskey. go. I'm going to leave this. It's going to be just my two co-hosts. Uh, Patty Kay, what do you think of people who wear ties? I'm a huge fan of ties. I'm not going to lie. What do you think of people who wear them all the time, though? All the time? I mean, there's a, obviously a tie and a place for ties. Um, you know what? Are we gonna cuddle, Maserati? I'm down. Bring it in. Bring it in. Bring it in. Bring it in. Come on, give me your head. Come on, baby. Don't be afraid. Okay, we're turning it. Oh, baby. Oh, Oh, baby. No, ties are good. Wear lots of ties. You can wear them un half untied. You can wear them fully tied. You can like fucking do your uh, fucking buttons up all the way and do your tie all the way and wear a vest and go fancy. You can fucking mellow it out and do the punk rock Avril Lavigne tie and do it as like part of your belt or part of your whole fucking fashion experience. There's a lot of ways to wear ties. I'm a huge fan of ties. I like the L, the color that it adds to your simple shirt. Um, white or black, shirt wise. You can wear whatever tie you like, pink or green. You can pick a tie that will make it work. Oh, it's always been fun to me. People say ties are, uh, you know, a representation of uh, ancestry and um, patriarchy, which is my name, and uh, Patrick Patriarchy. It's a whole thing. Etymology is weird. I am a linguist. That's not true. Um, but I like fucking ties to wear a bow tie. Fucking get over yourself. It's okay. Like you ever seen a hot trans person in a tie? Can't tell what gender they are, but they're just wearing a tie. They got a big little fucking sexy little bob cut. Got a little pixie cut. And you're like, oh, is that a boy or girl? Just fucking get over here. Um, that's what I think about ties. Like to me, ties are like the sexy androgyny. I ain't afraid. I ain't afraid. Are you afraid? 
Come here. Give me that tie. Let me pull on that fucking tie. Fucking tie me up with that fucking tie. I ain't afraid. But you know how it goes. Oh, baby. <laughs> Here we are. No. Gotta have a tie. Gotta have a tie. No shirt. I mean, excuse me. Yes. No shirt. Tie. No collar on your shirt. Tie. Fucking no socks. Get a couple ties. Wrap them around your feet. No condoms. Ties. That's a lie. A tie will not protect you from pregnancy or HPV. What does that stand for? Who knows? Don't wear a tie on your dick. Or as a diaphragm in your snatch. Or if you're going to do some butt stuff, don't put a tie in your butt. Um, hey, Dave. Um, don't put a tie in your butt. A tie is not an effective contraceptive. Not recommended. New Ruffy song. Tie... Not an effective contraceptive. All right, I've come back and like my channel still seems to be on. So, <laughs> <everything> seems- <laughs> so uh, what is that? Uh, that's, uh, that's Matt Zare 2001, I guess. That's uh, thanks for the follow. Mm-hmm. You got a kitty for that. We didn't see it. Nobody here noticed it. But whoa, you- whoa. Well, well, well. You got your own kitty for that. Yo, we're like starting to come to the end of the show. Like the part that we put out on a podcast that like, did you know that like people listen to the local love podcast? Like the thing that goes out on like Spotify and iTunes and shit. Did you know that people listen to it? Oh, why would they do that? That's pretty wild. Patty K, they would do it more if you like. If I would fucking lean to the mic. (laughs) Why would they do that? (laughs) Oh, it's, it's, they do it for the music. Probably not the bands. Uh That's fucking awesome. Sick fucking bands, my dudes. Fucking the show's about over, or at least the podcast version of the show's over. I'm so happy to have all of you here in the studio. Thank you, Steve on Keys. Thank you, Juan Maserati. Thank you for Patty K for hanging out in the studio. Goodbye. Well, I mean, goodbye, podcast listeners. If you're checking this out live here uh, at twitch.tv slash echoplex media, don't go anywhere. I'll even change the name of the stream and stuff, and then like people will like flood in. Mm-hmm. And they'll be like, oh no, it's just Dave drunk with his friends and then they'll leave. Like all of the shows. Like all of the shows. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks everybody for listening to this first episode of Local Love that we did live and direct from the studio. Uh, more of these to come. I don't know. Mwah. Mwah. I don't even have a song picked. What should we close the show out with? Pause, Bond. You got to... Sorry, that was a a really offensive Jamaican voice. You could have kept going with it. Really offensive Jamaican voice. Oh, no, then don't keep going with that. I'm glad you caught yourself. Play our song. Smoke of the Season. Look at that. You want to do Smoke of the Season? Fuck, I ain't heard that song in ages. We stopped playing it in a long time. Where is it? Oh, Smoke of the Season. Yeah. What could go wrong? Yeah. One, two, three, four. Not rhyming the reasoning time, let the treason sing Pride in the legion, we'll keep our economy Driving a piece of things coming A summer of bumbling industry Building us back up from nothing They're starving or dying and it's making me laugh These are the devil like gold men in sacks Have us kissing the dirt with the bills on our backs So why is a liar like a writing desk And the words on your back left something on my chest Faces are cameras, eyes are like crooks It's a wonder how wonderful suffering looks So show me the money, show me the war If you show me a deal then I'll come back for more Working for water like living for bread What good is a life to a world that's dead?
season and the red of the day It's the tears of the Haitians and the price of the slave Why must the price of our fathers be the ash of today? Must the lives of our soldiers be the cash that lines our backs? Soldiers be the cash that lines our 